PC Crash 10.2 now has a very modular and uh, extensible programming uh, interface for visual programming of active safety systems. In this example, we have a red vehicle uh, shown up here. I'm zoomed way out. Uh, and the blue vehicle next to it. Uh, this is a simulation showing uh, adaptive cruise control. I've got the, the cruise control system up here just to show you at the start, but I want to show you how it works first. It's, it's set to, uh, it's, it's set to uh, 50 kilometers an hour, but this blue vehicle is going to do a lane change uh, from the left, or towards the left, intrudes on the uh, scanned region here from the active cruise control. That's going to make the cruise control s hit the brakes until it tracks the vehicle in front of it. Then when that vehicle gets back out of the way, it's going to speed up again. So you can see we're into the zone there. So now he's tracking. Continues on for some time, slowly. See our speeds are at, oh sorry, 20 kilometers an hour. Then when it leaves, zone, then our red car accelerates and gets back up to its set speed of 50 kilometers an hour. There we go. So you see here as I move the slider, again in 10.2, if you're set in 3D window to update uh, with respect to vehicle positions, so like a chase camera view or a driver's eye view, and now reflects it in the 3D window as well. So you can see as we're getting into the vehicle's line of sight here, we slow down. That vehicle slows further, how annoying, and then gets out of the way, and we get to speed back up. So under the vehicle menu, we have an active safety system. So this is the interface. What we have is a distance sensor that provides a relative speed and a distance to a target detected within an 80 meter range and within a half angle of two and a half degrees. If we look at the properties on that programming block, you see it's calling a function get distance rel with certain parameters. There's documentation what all these different functions are and does a few checks uh, and then changes our speeds into kilometers per hour and outputs. Uh, and you can see that in the properties you can say each block how many inputs, how many outputs, and how many parameters there are. So parameters are things like these uh, distances that's going to scan and the angle that's going to scan over. And then this block here, the adaptive cruise control or AAC, takes two inputs which are the distance and relative speed to the object in front. And it takes two parameters, what the target speed is and what the following distance uh, will be, or the, the minimum following distance. And then uh, it'll generate an acceleration signal based on those parameters and some control constants that are internal to the function here. And then you can also output uh, special user diagrams using the input that's uh, specified there, and you get to provide a unique uh, name for it. And then if I go to my diagrams, you see here is actually under the uh, user-defined diagrams and active safety. It's plotting the um, well, here it's actually just plotting the velocity, but if I go here, it's plotting the uh, acceleration signal output by the active cruise control, or the adaptive cruise control. So this is uh, highly extensible and can be probably used for a few things other than vehicle safety uh, too, or active uh, systems. But it lets you have your vehicle react to the environment around it. So that is active safety systems, just a brief uh, uh, taste of it in PC Crash 10.2.